eyes of the world are upon you. Your eyes survey the world. How are they able to do so? Because they are nature's camera, only much more rapid, more pliable in their action. The similarity between nature's camera and the photographer's is very close. Both have the same structure, but the eye is a living and more delicate instrument. The slurra is the protective part, and the choroid, as well as being the dark chamber, brings nourishment. The iris and the pupil are constantly in motion, changing in size when looking at distant and near objects, and also accommodating themselves to make vision clear in all degrees of light, just as the diaphragm in the ordinary camera is altered. The lens also takes part in this, and to make the eye efficient for all purposes, it has been given an extra lens, the cornea. The sensitive nerve is the same as the film. It registers and develops the pictures which are immediately transmitted to the brain for instant use and future reference. The eye is dependent upon the health of the person for its efficient working. In every moment during the day our eyes are serving as outposts of our actions. They observe and register surrounding movements that they may be telegraphed through our nervous system which commands and controls our every action. From morning to night, during our work and play, our eyes are constantly alert and on duty. Whatever your work, in office or factory, the ability to do so properly depends upon the efficiency of your eyes, and so does your personal safety. In sport, quick and a good sight is essential. To enjoy pleasures such as reading or watching films, we want clear, good vision. Modern speed and a bright lighting impose a strain on the eyes. As life becomes quicker, the strain becomes greater. Your eyes are open windows through which the ills of human body may be seen by medical observers as danger signals. The nerve of the eye has its blood vessels straight from the heart. In affections of the heart and arteries, the blood vessels alter in shape and size. These can be noticed under examination when perhaps the only symptom is tired eyes. Later the damage increases, hemorrhages occur and vision fails, but the advanced stage with blindness and the dangers of high blood pressure may be prevented if nature's signals are obeyed and the eyes examined. Most organs show eye signs in disease. The kidneys, when deranged, do so very early, the eye often giving the first indications. In diabetes, the interior of the eye suffers and the disease can be detected by the oculist when the person is unaware that anything is amiss. Infection from such widely different sources as the nose, the throat, teeth, lungs and intestines spread in the blood and deposit their poisons in the interior of the eyes. The disturbance of sight may be trivial, but if immediately examined, the root cause may be at once discovered. You may think that such careful medical examination of the eyes is only possible for those able to pay a specialist's normal fee. Such is not the case. This is a National Eye Service Centre where eligible patients, at their convenience, may obtain a private examination by a specialist at a very moderate fee. If you prefer, you may obtain this expert examination under the National Eye Service by visiting the specialist at his private house. You see the interior of the eyes being examined to find out if there is any condition that may call for medical treatment. It is often necessary to take the field of vision to diagnose toxic conditions. With a special microscope, the eye is examined section by section. Finally, the usual tests for vision, if glasses are needed. The dispensing optician makes the spectacles to suit individual requirements. There are 350 national eye service centers in the country which provide for the proper care of your eyes.